Good morning, good afternoon, good evening friends. Today we are going to discuss on one of the most important topic which is ITSM interview questions with answers. So in this topic I have created the list of 15 most important interview questions. I will give the example for each of the interview questions and these are mostly 100% asked interview questions in every ITSM or service management interviews. So don't skip this interview, uh, don't skip this video, you can watch this video till end and also if you want these all questions in PDF format then please subscribe the channel and send me mail on complexsql at gmail.com which you can see in the screen complex sql at gmail.com so let's get started so first important question is what is itil so itil stands for information technology infrastructure library which is the framework so just remember that ITIL is the framework which provides best practices for IT service management. It helps the organization to align their IT services and business needs. So simple, first you require to remember the long form of the ITIL that is Information Technology Infrastructure Library. What is this? It is a framework which provides the best practices for IT service management. Simple. Okay, example for ITIL. ITIL includes the processes such as incident management. So you might have heard some processes like incident management process is there, problem management process is there, change management process is there, SLA, service level agreement or service level management process is there. So all those processes are into umbrella of ITIL. Got it? Next question, explain the difference between an incident and a problem. So if you remember the incident management system, you might have used the JIRA for incident management, raising the incident and all. Correct. Just like that, what is, uh, means uh, interviewer will ask you the question, what is incident and what is problem and what is the difference between them? So an incident is unplanned interruption to the IT service, unplanned inter in interruption. When you complete your uh, deployment process, but something is not working, that is unplanned in interruption. That is that is called as incident, okay, or a reduction in the quality of IT service. So incident may uh, may be because of the quality of the service as well. So that will also be the incident. While a problem is underlying cause of one or more incidents, so if you resolve that incident properly then you should have to have the problem card for the same right so that exactly indicates the underlying cause of that incident what exactly is the cause of that incident okay rca you can say root cause analysis that is called as problem Got it? Example, if server crashes, this is an incident. Investigating why the server crashed and implementing a permanent solution is called as problem management. So that is difference between incident and problem. Incident is unplanned interruption. Problem is solution for the same and its documentation. Next is what is purpose of service level agreement? So, in many companies, they are following the service level agreement with the client. Let's say you are working in one of the big MNC company and you have one of the telecommunication client. So, you should have to have some agreement between client as well as service provider, right? That agreement is called as service level agreement. And SLA defines the level of service a customer expects from the service provider and the matrix used to measure that service is called SLA. Example, an SLA might specify that the service desk will respond to critical incidents within 15 minutes 
and resolve them in two hours. So that is the service level agreement. Let's say there are P1 incidents. You require to uh, just uh, comment it on or change the status of that incident in two hours. So in two hours, you require to change the incident, uh, incident status. That is the agreement okay, between service provider and the client. That is called a service level agreement. How do you prioritize the incidents? So incidents are typically prioritized based on impact. That is the business impact, the urgency, how urgent we require that and using a matrix or predefined criteria. Okay. For example, a critical incident affecting multiple users would be prioritized higher than the minor incident affect only one user. But it depends on the functionality as well. Okay. Next is change advisory board or CAB. What is CAB? That is also most important question might have asked as in service uh, IT SM interview questions. So a CAB group is responsible for assessing, prioritizing, authorizing changes to the IT environment. Okay. A CAB might review proposed changes to network infrastructure to ensure they don't negatively impact other services. Got it? Next is how do you handle a major incident? So you might have heard P1 incident, P2 incident, P3 incident, P4 incidents. But on top of it, there is other incident that is major incident. So to handle that major incident management or MIM process should have to be there. Okay. So major incidents are managed using predefined processes involving rapid response. You, your customer, your stakeholders, communication should have to be accurate in major incident okay so predefined process involving rapid in response communication with the stakeholders and coordination for the resources until the incident is resolved example during a major incident like data breach the incident manager would convince a response or to converse the response to team update the affected users and work to store services as quickly as possible okay next is what is the purpose of problem management process so we have already discussed what is the difference between incident and problem problem management aims to identify resolve the root causes of recurring incidents to prevent future disruptions example for the same if a web application crashes frequently, problem management would investigate underlying the issues such as software bugs or inadequate server resources. Next question, explain the concept of a known error. What is known error? A lot of times you might have heard that known issue, known error. A known error is a problem that has documented root cause and a workaround but has not yet been permanently resolved. You should give the any subway to uh, deal with that situation, any other way, any other solution. But that is not a permanent solution, temporary solution you have given. If a software update consistently causes a specific issue, <coughs> it would be documented as known error until permanent fix is implemented. Okay, next question is what is difference between service desk and help desk? So that is also most important question and that is a tricky question. Okay, a service desk provides a single point of contact for users to request IT support and services. Okay, while help desk primary focuses, uh, primary focuses on resolving technical issues. So let's say you are having issue in Swiggy if you are using Swiggy or Uber application. And in that application, you are having the issue. So you can contact to customer care executive. That is called a service desk. But that customer care executive uh, has to call to different technical people. That is help desk. Simple. Example, a service desk might be handle requests for software installation, account provisioning and password resets. Well, help desk deals with the troubleshooting of hardware and software problems. Okay. Next question, how do you measure the effectiveness of IT SM processes? 
the key performance indicators that is kpi such as mean time to resolve mean time to resolve that is one of the kpi first call resolution rate is other other kpi customer satisfaction scores are used to measure the effectiveness of itsm process got it example for the same is a decrease in mtt r indicates that incident management processes are improving leading to less downtime for the users 11th question what is purpose of a change management process you should uh, we have discussed about problem management incident management now change management change management ensures that changes to the it environments are properly planned properly approved and implemented with minimal disruption to the service example before deploying a software update change management would assess potential impacts obtain approval from the stakeholders and schedule the change during maintenance window next question how do you handle service outages outside of business hours that is also most important question right organizations often have predefined procedures for managing outage outages outside for business hours including on call support teams and escalation processes so you should have to have escalation processes set properly set in case of any outages outside the business hours example for the same if a critical system fails overnight the on call support team would be noticed and follow established processes procedures to restore service with escalation to management is necessary next question what is the role of configuration management database cmdb in itsm cmdb you might have heard this term cmdb a cmdb is centralized database that stores information about configuration items that is cis and their relationship enabling accurate asset management and impact analysis example for the same the cmdb would contain the details about the servers software license network devices and their dependencies helping to identify the potential impact of changes or incidents next question how do you ensure continuous improvement in itsm processes so that is also important nowadays you can see continuous deployment continuous improvement is there so continuous improvement involves regularity of reviewing processes identifying areas of enhancement implementing changes to increase efficiency and effectiveness i have given one example after after each major incident a post incident review is conducted to analyze what went wrong and identify opportunities to prevent similar incidents in the future okay next question what is role of automation in itsm automation streamlines the repetitive tasks improve efficiency reduce the risk of human error in itsm processes automated workflows can be used to handle routine tasks such as password resets freeing up service days to desktop to focus on more more complex issues okay so these are 15 most most important interview questions uh, which has been asked in uh, which will ask in itsm interview questions service management interview questions i hope this is very useful to you and if you like this video please subscribe the channel if you want interview questions pdf format for free of cost i am giving it to free of cost please subscribe the channel send me the mail comment into comment section like i want these interview questions so i will provide you at free of cost but the main condition is to subscribe the channel click on bell icon okay hope you like this video thanks for watching this video till end cheers